Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Metro Arms American Classic Compact Commander 1911 in all stainless steel. Heavy gloss model. You may have seen these with uh, all blued finish. Some have a blued frame with a stainless slide. This is the all stainless model and it, it's just classy in my opinion. Now I brought out another stainless to give a comparison. This is more of a matte finish on a Remington R1 1911. You can see the difference there. All right, the matte stainless and the heavy gloss. You have your options. I, I like this. I don't have any like this, you know, and it just, in, in my opinion, is a touch of class. Now, the Metro Arms American Classic 1911s are made in the Philippines. They're very affordably priced. Right, and you may notice that it has some, shall I say, accentuated parts. All right, we'll just say that, and I'll explain. Check out that trigger. Look at the additional cuts in the trigger that they did to make that a little unique. It does have a serrated trigger face there, and those additional cuts also in the hammer there. You see in the hammer. Just things that make it a little bit different. You can see it does have the engraving there. Some of the older models have uh, American Classic uh, stamped all the way across the slide. Here they made it smaller and put it right there. Uh, once again, a classy look. Some people call that, you know, they, they, they put a billboard. They put a billboard across the slide. I can't stand that. Well, they, they don't do that anymore because that looks very cool. Another thing is the wooden grip. Check that out. Kind of like a scalloped wood. It does say Metro Arms there with the M logo. I, I like it. It gives it a nice look. But I may replace that with G10 grip. Something like this would, would be nice. Or even a, you know, a wood color with G10. But I have no complaints with those. It has a 4.25 inch barrel and an officer size frame. So with the officer size frame, that means that the grip is a little shorter to suit. CCW and what you're getting there is seven rounds 45 ACP all right shorter a Shorter grip one less round, but you know if you if you want You can always add the eight round mag all right. This is From the R1 and you can see that that would work just fine 1911 mags very interchangeable Makes it nice for range or or the spare mag but Seven rounds, 45 ACP. It does have three dot sights. Novak style rear sights. All right. You know, ramps up a bit. Dovetail front. It does have a flat mainspring housing. All right. And then, you know, no stippling or checkering or texturing at all on the front strap. Beaver tail safety. And the thump safety is on the left side. So no ambi thump safety there. It does have a, I think I mentioned a 4.25 inch barrel with a partial length guide rod. All right. So it's more of a original 70 series 1911. High gloss. Nice looking. And now the, the um, trigger, I measure right over five pounds, like five and a quarter pounds. All right. So we just right there. That's why I love the 1911s, that trigger. No over travel. Hardly any reset right there and a little over five pounds. So it's not one of those featherweight triggers. Some are, you know, right between three, three and a half pounds. Not one of those, but it still has that single action pull that is very nice. Let's go ahead and put it on the scale. It's an all steel frame, right? No aluminum here. So it, it does have some weight behind it. We'll show the unloaded weight. Two pounds, four and five eighths ounces. We move that to just ounces. We're looking at 30, 36 and five eighths. But let's go ahead and load seven rounds. I'll just grab them all over here. 45 ACP. A lot of guys, you know, they. you would be shocked at how many people carry a 1911. We tend to think that, you know, Glock 19 is the primary carry, and, and it is. There's no doubt about that. Micro 380s in the pocket as a backup. That's that's pretty standard too. But the people that carry a 1911, I wish we had numbers on that because I think you'd be shocked. 
Loaded weight is 41 and 7 8 ounces. Here is your carry round. All right, three quarters of an ounce for 45 ACP, half ounce for nine millimeter, 42 and 5 8. So you've got some weight behind this beauty, but that's good. Mit mitigate any recoil that the 45 offers. Heavy uh, recoil spring right here. All right, you got, it takes some force to pull that back. And the idea of a press check really isn't gonna happen. You got a stainless slippery slide there. So you most likely will just pull it back like that and then charge the gun like that. But there it is. Metro Arms American Classic 1911. Nice looking gun. I have to believe it's a nice shooting gun and not too hard on the wallet either. Right in the mid. $600 will get you this model, which I think is real sharp looking, has class written all over it, and I cannot wait to get this to the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.